praying for change. Local faith-based leaders want Duval County to stop using the death penalty. They've singled out the county for overusing it in the past. In the last hour, local pastors wrapped up a news conference at City Hall where they gathered to voice their concerns. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell has been there all morning and joins us live with more on their message. Elizabeth. Well, Bruce, not only did local pastors hold that press conference outside of the Duval County Courthouse about an hour ago, but they also signed a letter with 50 local pastors releasing that letter, they say, this morning to the state attorney's office demanding a halt on death penalty cases. Now, I want to show you some video of those pastors gathering this morning. About half a dozen of those 50 who signed the letter spoke at the news conference expressing concern over the report from the Fair Punishment Project. They say Duval County only accounts for 5% of the state's population, but that it's responsible for a quarter of Florida's death sentences. These pastors also talked about death penalty cases prolonging the suffering of many murder victims' families because of years of legal uncertainty and hearings. The Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of St. Augustine was one of the pastors who spoke this morning, saying our society should choose life over death whenever called to do so. You know, every human life is sacred, regardless of what that person, that individual does. Uh, it's uh, the human value of that life is infinite. And uh, here we stand because we think that capital punishment is not needed. We can keep the society safe by protecting everybody in the society by keeping a prisoner for life without parole. It was Gandhi who said, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. And I believe we've become blind to some things. There are some things that we have been unable to see, but no more, we can see them now. We now know that death penalty cases are riddled with evidence of socioeconomic and racial inequalities. Also in the crowd this morning was Darlene Farah, the mother of 20-year-old Shelby, who was shot and killed back in 2013 while working at a Metro PCS store. Hear from her on this morning's news conference, as well as State Attorney Angela Corey coming up on the evening news tonight starting at 5. Reporting live from the Duval County Courthouse, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, The Local Station.